Hi guys, my name is Utkresh. Today we are going to talk about how to choose an engineering college in India. So there are a number of engineering colleges in India. Why should you choose a particular engineering college? There, these are some basic pointers which I'm giving you. You can add on in the comments if you want. First and foremost is the placement. This is a no brainer. You are investing approximately four to five to six lakh rupees over a period of four years. You are investing four years and what ROI are you going to get? Are you going to get a good job placement? Are you going to get a better placement? Do you want placement? Some, some students are there that who only want to do engineering, but want to go into family business or want to start their own business. So they do not need placement, but placement is a good barometer for the students to check whether a college is worthwhile your time or not because at the end placements are one of the most important factor you should consider in. you should also consider in placements that which companies to visit then TCS Accenture and Infosys these are the big three IT companies which all visit almost all the campuses the work which you do which you're going to do is going to be one of the key factors I mean okay if you are a good caliber student if you have good capacity you can easily get into TCS so so second point is infrastructure so infrastructure I personally give infrastructure second preference because if you're sitting in a classroom and the chairs are wobbly you cannot study if you are sitting in a classroom and there is a fatta instead of a chair you cannot study I mean whatever you say about that yes we can do it I mean engineer should be focused or a student should be focused but if the infrastructure is not good it becomes difficult to spend four years i mean if the hostel has do not have a good bed or the hostel facilities aren't good hostel rooms is not hospitable it becomes difficult to stay there for four years so if the placement is not good of a particular college then i'll definitely say take the college with the best infrastructure so infrastructure should be your major priority there should be a good library yeah in library you should go and ask what are the journals which you will provide me so do you have an IEEE digital library there? What all journals do you have? How many books do you have? Do you provide a book bank? Do you have a playing field? Do you have what what extra do you have? Infrastructure is one of the areas which you should see. So the third thing which comes is teachers. You should see what teachers they have employed. Those, those teachers might not teach you in the long run because you have four years the teacher might migrate from one college to another. But who is the HOD? What is the track record of the HOD? So teachers will mentor you, teachers will guide you, teachers, wherever teachers will guide you. So you need to check what type of a teachers they are keeping. So AICT and UGC do have guidelines for what type of teachers uh, college or university can keep teachers will be teaching you who will be teaching you uh, who is the director of your program are they friendly are they a bit stubborn teachers tend to be stubborn sometimes teachers are one of important things you should check while choosing a college because if you want to do something different if you want to you know just not study and give exams and get passed and get a degree if you want to create something if you need college help you will need to go to through teachers so teachers are one of the most important things you should check. You should interact with them while visiting a college. Uh, you should check who will be your, uh, who will be your HOD, what is his credentials, uh, what is his fields. Uh, you should definitely talk to seniors about the teacher is that whether the, the education which they impart is good or not, or whether they help in different projects or not. So these are the various parameters by you can, you know, judge whether a college does employ good teachers or not. So one of the most important factor for me while choosing an engineering college is accessibility to that college. So there are many colleges, especially private colleges, which are situated in middle of nowhere. So it will be a separate video if I tell you why they are situated in middle of nowhere. Look, you're not going to study 24 hours a day. 365 days a week it, it, it is impossible you need to go out in the city to explore that is the college life if you are in a hostel you will you'll go out with your friends if you are a day boarder then and you will go out you will bunk classes you will go out with your friends how far is the college from a city do check the accessibility from the city to your college whether it is easily accessible or not because you will be attending the college approximately 200 days in a year so if you are attending the college 200 days in in a year so you will have to go to the college and then come back home so if the journey is more than one hour or one and a half hour so three years of uh, sorry three hours of your 24 hours a day is gone in traveling do check accessibility and thank you for all your support guys thank you so much i'll be joining you soon